Good afternoon, everybody. We're going to be studying today page 323, Equations and Slope. It's section 7.5 in your textbook. So we're going to find the slope of a line by solving for y. This is a question from your homework assignment. It's number one on page 323. And the line or the equation of the line reads 3x plus 2y equals 6. You're given the equation 6, 3x plus 2y equals 6. So as you can see on the board here on your screen, we went ahead and solved for y. We subtracted 3x on both sides. We got 2y equals negative 3x plus 6. We divided by 2 and we got y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 3. And why did we do that? Why did we solve for y? The way reason we solve for y is because it puts this equation in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. This is a very, very powerful, very powerful form of the equation because it allows you to graph things quickly and easily. y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So let's see how we graph this. We use this information here, y equals mx plus b, to find the slope and the y-intercept and then graph it. In this case, the slope is m equal to negative 3 over 2. And the y-intercept is b equal to 3. We've got the slope equal to negative 3 over 2 and the y-intercept equal to 3. What bit of information do we use first? Do we, can we use the slope for anything at first? I mean, if we have the slope of a line but no point, what do we do with that line? Okay. Where is it? You yes, know, Jessica? You have to do the y-intercept first because That's right. it says we're on the line. Here. That's right. You have to have a point. Without a point, the line is just anywhere in space. It's just floating. It doesn't have a location. So what is the point that we're going to find here? B equals 3, but what is that? Where is that on the graph? Jesse? It's the y-intercept that goes up. Right. It's, the y-intercept is on the, the y-axis. So it's right there, because that's where the line crosses the y-axis. So be careful about that. This is the point 0, 3. OK? Please write that down. Please graph that. Now, now that we have a point, we can find the other points on the line by using the slope. Rise over run. And from there, where do we go? How do we know which direction to go? What does the slope tell us, and why is it useful for us? I don't know. Not sure? No. OK. Rise over run, right? But what do we mean by rise? That means it could go up or down. Up. 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 Well, it's, how come? Down because it's, it, it's down, right? Negative 3 goes down 3. Over 2. Over 2, right or left? Right. That's right, right here. And now that we have another point on the line, two zero. we can go ahead, and that's at 2, 0, yeah happens to be a 2, 0. And then we can go ahead and draw the line. Go ahead, Glenn, and draw the line. And now it's a negatively sloped line. That's why it's it's an airplane landing. That's why I say it's coming it's coming in. The airplane's coming in, right? It's going to crash. We were able to go from this question here where we solved. We had to solve for y. Once we solved for y, we used the fact that we understand y equals mx plus b, getting m for the slope, B for the y-intercept, using that information to graph it by, this is our B, in other words, this is our y-intercept, and then rise over run tells us that negative 3 over 2 tells us the rise is 3, which means it's actually going down. The word rise is a little confusing. Rise means, in this case, up or down. It's down 3, so we went down 3, and over 2, to the right 2, 1, 2. And there you go. You ha there's only one way to draw a line through two points. In this case, it's a negatively sloped line. It's going down like an airplane landing. Okay? So I hope you have. Uh, do you have any other questions? Yes? It could be up or down. Let's say that yeah. the y intercept was a fraction. Do we just like. Yeah, if it's a. Same, same thing, and a fraction would just be somewhere in between. If it's two and a half, it'd be two and a half right in there. Or if it's one half, it'd be in between zero and one. That's all. Other questions? That's pretty much it. Your homework assignment is pretty much that kind of question. They, they ask it a couple different ways, but that's pretty much it. So your homework is as follows. Page 326, numbers 2 through 54, evens. Page 326, 2 through 54, evens. 
Zero three because it's the y-intercept at any point on the y-intercept is zero something. Because so the, the the y is it goes up or down somewhere on yeah. the y-axis. Yeah. So b equals three is the y. Yes, it is. But it's the y-coordinate. Y and y is x-coordinate zero because it's on the y-axis. But why is b y? That's the notation for the y-intercept. So we just have to memorize. Yes, you do. Yeah. Mm. B is the notation for the y-intercept. That's just the way. That's a convention. The same way as m is for slope. You have to memorize that. Um, yes, Olivia? Um, why would you draw the line from 0, 3 down to the um, um, Either way, or you could draw negative, it up it's that way. Slope. No, it's it's a, it's oh, it's a negative slope yeah. because that's a negative slope. Yeah, I know it's negative, but... Oh, so when it's negative, you go down to the negative um, part of the graph? Uh, well, no, we're doing? just joining two points. It's just connect the dots. Wait, wait. There's only, there's only way you can wait, join those two points is by drawing a line that way. You can't draw it in the other way. Wait, uh, Rachel? Like, wh why, why do we go to the right rather than the left? Well, because it's positive. Oh. And we went it's down. If you go down. We went down if it's negative, and then we went to the right positive. So, um, so yes. Okay, okay, imagine it. One at a time. It a number line. Yeah. Okay. Yes. No, no, I know. Right. You, you always go to the right. Right is positive. If down is negative, we go to the negative. Yeah. 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 Yeah.